Good morning and welcome to this very special edition of the Southside Scoop. I'm Tyler Espinosa. And I'm Sarah Rark. Sarah, today everyone here at the Southside Scoop was put under real world broadcasting situations and we got a taste of the stressful deadlines that come with that as we struggled to make an eight minute show in only eight hours. Yeah, Tyler, our only restrictions was having to stay in the Riverside or Parkville areas and relating back to the theme upstream from ordinary. Our lead story today comes from Nahal Satari and Ashley Pasley who caught up with Parkville Coffee House to see what keeps people coming back for another cup. Parkville Coffee House is not your average coffee shop. From the coffee they serve to the people that walk in, the shop on the block is different from the rest. Customers, we all get to know them and like them and interact with them on a daily basis. And it's a really close group of um, employees and it's not like corporate-y or anything, so it feels really special to work here. And, it, and we love um, giving coffee to Parkville. Couldn't get Parkville Coffee House somewhere else. It's definitely not uh, a, uh, a, a brand or a franchise type of place. It's a personal spot. Every person who comes to get a cup of coffee are not treated like customers, but instead they are treated as special, unique, unforgettable faces. I don't have to tell them what I want. They just know what I want when I come in and they know me. <laughs> Local coffee shop prioritizes the people and builds friendships that will last a lifetime. The ambiance, the people that come in here, a lot of uh, the people that come in are regulars uh, of the community. They volunteer. There's some of the politicians come in. Friendship, the people, they're all very nice. That means a lot. Whether you're sitting down with your friends or it's just a quick stop for coffee, the Parkville Coffee House is anything but ordinary. Signing off from the Southside Scoop, this is Ashley Pasley along with Nahal Sataria. Miranda Stazak and I got a chance to catch up with the mayor of Riverside, Kathy Rose, to find out just where the idea of upstream from Riverside really came from. In 2010, the city went through a rebranding process to identify a new tagline and a new marketing campaign for the community. Upstream from Ordinary was one of three brands that we kind of knocked around until it, it, it flowed to the top because of uh, all of the amenities that we have around our community. We have the Missouri River, we have the Line Creek that runs through, so we're kind of surrounded by water. So having something that was upstream from Ordinary was really important to us, as well as it representing everything that we have accomplished in this community Community, especially in the last 20 years and we have uh, developed so many beautiful buildings and so many beautiful trails and uh, so many different programs that benefit everybody's quality of life that it really was a fitting tagline upstream from ordinary. While these vendors might not make the typical mold, they're serving up food that's out of this world. The Parkville food trucks are a very special and important commodity to our community. With its unique concept, it's growing in popularity and size. It's not just a business, but a family environment. The burgers are just as good as they are advertised. They come with kettle chips and are only $9. The city of Riverside looked for uh, a brick and mortar type restaurant or something to come up here. Uh, there's several different offices and buildings and factories and such right here in the neighborhood that needed an outlet for their employees to find some place to eat. Um, a restaurant in brick and mortar style is a large, expensive adventure, uh, and you really wouldn't get a lot of variety. The city was nice enough to build this food truck lot that we're standing in here, and four to five different food trucks uh, go in every day throughout here. We post up here uh, every day for lunchtime. We open at 11, close at 1.30. Uh, so really it's a combination of a, of a project between the Riverside and what these businesses needed. Madison Flynn and Ashton Dittmer caught up with the vintage watch shop down in Parkville who's had some special visitors over the years. Parkville, some of which are built from a passion. He's had his online business since 1997, coolvintagewatches.com, and decided that he wanted to open a store in downtown Parkville three years ago. He just wanted to interact more with the public. Owner John Putnam made this vision a reality, bringing in customers from all places to see his unique collectibles. One of his current customers is Alex Rios with the Kansas City Royals. He loves watches and he lives near Parkville, I believe, and so he frequents the shop um, pretty often and 
is a friend of John's now. Hometown heroes aren't the only visitors who are attracted to the vintage originality in John's store. We also had um, President Obama in the store last summer. He was uh, on a visit to Parkville and was walking by and John was told by the Secret Service just to shake his hand and he looked in the store and decided that he had to come in. It's one of the most powerful people in the world, so he was honored to have him in his store. Humbled by the kindness of all customers, the Putnams are happy to have taken the step to bring their shop to the public. He's turned this whole online business into a store that people all over the country, when they come in, they just really compliment him, how it would fit in in, you know, California, New York, it's just they really praise the store. So I'm just proud of what he's done with it. Keeping it cool with Ashton Dittmer, I'm Madison Flynn, signing off for the Southside Scoop. All right, well, that's all we have for you today on this special edition of the Southside Scoop. I'm Sarah Rourke. And I'm Tyler Espinosa. Have a wonderful day, everyone.